everybody and welcome back to another video to the third part of the horror game series today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can configure a light system for this game and yeah it's quite easy short script I'll show you what it looks like it looks a bit like this yeah without further ado let's begin so I've started off with a little base map here it's just inside a little base plate uh, there's not much going on I made this so um yeah we might we might expand it from here but just so we can get an example of what it's gonna look like this is what it's gonna look like so it's gonna look a bit like this of the lights are gonna be turning uh, off and on and there's gonna be a little bit of an interval between them of course the gap between the lights turning off and on is a bit too short but uh, we're gonna expand that a bit later so yeah this is hopefully what it should look like all right so to begin we want to start off by making a part so this part's gonna look like this and then we can just scale it out like this so we've got a somewhat square and then flatten it like that and the first thing you want to do is change the color to white um, how do I change And then after we've done that, we change the material to neon. And there we go, that's our light, just done. All right, now, so now we can move on to the script. If we click onto this part, you can see it's now selected in blue. We click plus, we go to script, and this is where we can begin making our script. So to begin, we're gonna write local light part, which is this part, is equal to script dot parent uh, and then we're gonna go down I'm gonna be creating a boolean value so it's gonna be called light uh, light actually light is on is equal to true and this is where we can create our loop for the light turning off and on so we're gonna do while tr true do and we're gonna do wait three seconds that's good and then I'm gonna do if light is on is equal equal to true then this is where we're gonna turn the light off light part dot spotlight oh wait no we need to add that now so if we go back to the part and we raise the part that we can just go add to the part if you search up spotlight it should come up and there we go, you can see a light appears there. What we want to do is, we want to take the spotlight, make sure it's facing bottom. And there you go. Uh, nice. Right. So, now we can do light part. It should appear now. Light part dot spotlight. There you go. Light part dot spotlight dot brightness is equal to 0. 0. 0.0. Just to be precise. And then light part dot material is equal to quotation marks pavement it's not it's not a um it's called it's not a uh, precise uh material i've just chosen it because you don't you're not able to see it when it uh, the light turns off right okay so now i'm gonna do an else so if this does not work then we're just gonna go to else else light part dot spotlight dot brightness is equal to one and light part dot material is back to neon and then we're gonna do light is on light is on is equal to true and then we're gonna go back up here light is on is equal to false right so now let me walk you through it. We've got the uh, variable up here, we've got a boolean value, and then we're doing while true do. So this means while it's true, it's gonna go all the way back and back and back. It's gonna go looping until it's false. So we come down and we got a wait three seconds. So the script waits three seconds. And then uh, if we carry on, we go down, it's got if light is on is equal equal to true, which it is, then light part dot spotlight dot brightness is equal to 0, 0. So when we go here, uh, when, um, when we get to this uh, it's called chunk here, it's going to commit this, not this. So we got that. And then once we've turned the light off, the light is on, 
the boolean up here, it's going to go to false. So now we go down here, down here, we start the loop again, and light is on is now false. So, once again, we wait three seconds, and because it's now false, um, we do if light is on is equal to tr equal to true, and because it's not true, uh, we don't go to this one. Instead, we go to this one, and that is turning the brightness to one, so that's setting the part uh, back on, well, setting the light back on. So it works like that, a bit of a loop. Uh, so yeah, it might be a bit confusing, but if you have any questions, just leave it. Of course, leave them down in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And now if we run the game, it should work. And the light should turn off and on, and the material should go from neon to pavement. So let's have a look. And as you can see, there we go. It's working perfectly. So the, as you can see, the light turns off. If we look here, there we go, the light turns on there. And then it turns off. And then if we look at the p material, uh, we can see it's going from neon to pavement, to neon, and then to pavement. But yeah, so the light and the material is working. And that is pretty much how we're going to do light system. We're going to increase the time it stays on and off by like a specified amount. But yeah, that's just base idea of how it's going to work. And later on, I'm going to help you change it. And yeah. I hope that tutorial was really helpful and yeah we're progressing quite well in this in this series so um I'm excited to finish it so guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one thank you